So, you don't know how to set up your weapons to have both IK and FK abilities in Cascader. Not a problem. For starters, import the rig for your weapon. It should have bones. Technically, you can see that I already have a sword, but this one doesn't have any bones, so we're gonna import a new one that does have bones. Personally, I place my bones for two specific reasons. One, to mark where the special effects for the sword slash trails are supposed to go, and where the hands are supposed to be positioned during double-handed position. But you can place your joints wherever you want. Now, once you've got the sword, so select all the bones in it, then shift select rig info, then at the top under command hit rig info, add joints. Then go into rig mode, then quick rigging, and drag the main sword into the weapon R slot over here. Add the rig elements, and now you will see the sword at the bottom. Now generally when you do this, you'll get a physics mass thing, which looks like a blue circle, and you should adjust it to vaguely represent where you think the mass of your weapon is supposed to be. I'm just using this for the, the main mass of my weapon's blade. And then on the right under physics setting, we can adjust the size a bit, and you can see that mass is set to one, which just means that it weighs about one kilogram, which is probably fine. And we also have a hilt that we want to add mass to so we're going to click both of the top and bottom handle joints and then on the left hit add. Now we also have a mass for this as well and I'm just going to set it to 0.2 kilograms and yes I know these numbers are probably not very realistic but if you are a sword nerd just let me know down in the comments how much the blade and the hilt should actually weigh because I'd really like to know. Now we can delete the original sword and we want to parent this sword to the weapon R bone because remember weapon R is how Unreal is going to know where our weapons are supposed to be positioned and rotated. So we'll click on the weapon R bone, go to the global mode, then control C to copy the values, then click the main sword joint and control V to paste. Then we're going to go to mass mode and do the same thing for the mass of the blade and the hilt. Now, if you do this and your hilt is not in the right place like this, then just delete it and recreate it by selecting the two hilt joints and adding it back again. It's no big deal. And now the final thing that we got to do is make sure that the weapon R joint always follows the weapon exactly. That way Unreal has an accurate idea of where the weapon is supposed to be during the animation. And to make sure it does that, click the weapon R joint and then click the mass of the blade and down under additional actions, hit connect. You're done. If you exit the rig mode now, you will see that if we open our timeline, there's a track for a weapon R. And if we select the sword dots under the point IK FK settings, we can switch to full IK, full FK, or from the timeline, which is great because when the sword is not in the character's hands, we can set it to IK so it doesn't move, even though weapon R is parented to the hand. But when the sword is in her hand, we can set it back to FK movement and it will follow her hand as usual. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Oh, 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 oh,